Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. The shirts that I introduced last week, here's one of them. The other one is right here. That campaign will be ending in two days. So if you are interested in a shirt, you will have two days to get it. After that, it's going to be done. No, no one will be able to get any more. And Bonfire is going to print them off and send them out to those who ordered them. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Over the weekend, we learned of some disturbing news about gun-related channels here on YouTube. Hank Strange had his channel eliminated. He had mentioned, because I watched a podcast he was in over the weekend, that his channel was eliminated after he received his second strike. Now, the rules are three strikes and you're out. He received two strikes. He put all of his videos on private. The next time he went to log on, his channel was eliminated. It had to do with a bullpup video that was produced two to three years ago, which is interesting because you would think they would have assessed a strike prior to now. Like, why now all of a sudden? And then I think about all the energy that Hank and so many others put into this. You know, the, the time, the expense, the camera equipment, the editing software, you know, the, the energy that it takes to create videos and maintain a channel is phenomenal. People don't understand that. They watch a, a four minute video and say, yeah, that was okay. But the amount of creativity that went into that is a, a lot. You know, it just takes so much. I, I understand this. And just to have it eliminated like that is a real shame. I hope he can get it back, but I don't, I don't have high expectations that he will. All we have to do is look at what happened to James Jaeger about a month ago and he never quite got it back to where it was and that's the direction Google is going with YouTube. Hank also mentioned that he shoots more ammo than he ever received from YouTube. I can attest to that. That is absolutely true. Those of you who say, oh come on dude, you're making a ton of money doing this, really is not true at all and you know, it, it's really a shame what happened. Tim at the Military Arms Channel had a strike assessed to his channel. Now, in Tim's case, he belongs to a network. A network has a lot of pros and cons, but the, the greatest advantage is it provides a barrier of protection against strikes, and yet he received a strike anyways. I don't understand that. So he put his videos on private and is going to talk to his network coordinator to figure out what's going on. I once received a strike, I did not belong to a network, and what happened in my case, and what I think is happening now, is that there are these private Facebook groups who are, you know, creating a large audience, assessing a certain channel, assessing a certain video, saying, everybody flag this video so it creates attention to you, uh, YouTube people, you know, 24 year old kids, who then assess a strike or eliminate a channel. That's what happened to me, and I received a strike once it was expired, like six months later, I then joined the network and put that exact same video back up, and it has been up ever since. So it leads us to believe that any of us could be eliminated at any given time. So I wanted to take a minute to share with you where else you could find me in case this channel is eliminated. First off, I have a Facebook page called The Firearm Guy Channel. I have Twitter and Instagram under the name The Firearm Guy. And I also write for American Military News. I do a lot of uh, opinion articles. I do gun reviews. I do everything that I do here, I write on American Military News. I'll post a link of my work in the description below. If you're interested, you can check that out. But the greatest thing that YouTube offers is a platform, a large platform. Without this platform, you wouldn't know who I was. You care less about me, may care less anyways, but this gives me an audience. American Military News gives me an audience. Facebook gives me an audience. I will not be silenced if this channel is eliminated. There is too much to talk about, and I'm not even talking about gun reviews. I'm talking about pro to a movements, things going on, things that need to be spread so that we can be united. And that's one of the things we are going to need in the very near future, we are hearing a lot from the other side. People complaining, people whining, people doing all this boo-hoo-hoo -hoo stuff, all talking about gun bans and what needs to be done. People who have very little information. You know, the people watching this video forgot more than these people even know, and yet they are the self-proclaimed experts. I think there's going to be resistance coming the other way for our side. And when that happens, we have to be ready to act. 
not just leave comments, but get involved locally to support your movements. We have to put our petty little differences aside and be one united front to protect our rights. Our, our rights that are guaranteed. Okay, the idea of compromise, a compromise is give some, take some, not just give some, all right? If we give some, that's not a compromise, okay? The question is, what are we getting in return? And if the answer is nothing, then we lose, and that is unacceptable. So be ready to get involved, be ready to, to support whatever's going on locally or at the national level so that we can make our voice heard in a united way. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. And sure, I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.